Hey guys, welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars review video. Today we're going to be checking out the ATST. This is set number 30495, ages 6 plus. It comes with 79 pieces. And yeah, this is it. This is the ATST. This is a little polybag set, so it does not include any minifigures. This is all you get with it. And uh, this set is apparently exclusive to Walmart. Now, I didn't know that. I actually went looking for it at Target. I went looking for it online quite a bit, and I could not find this. And then uh, I was at Walmart the other day looking to pick up the uh, the Dark Trooper attack set, that like Luke Hallway scene from Mandalorian Season 2. And now uh, when I was there, I saw this. So I was like, oh! And so I had to pick up like three or four of these. But it retails for $7. So a $7 poly bag for $79 pieces so it actually is cheaper than 10 cents a piece so okay that's a fair price for this set so pricing actually looks really good um, like I said there's no minifigure in this that's kind of typical for these polybag sets it is what it is it was originally released January 1st 2022 this is of course uh, based off the ATST off Hoth from Empire Strikes Back and uh, you know here's uh, here's the bag for it so this is part of their uh, their new lineup where they have like a new stripe on here. They apparently followed like Hasbro in that respect. But uh, yeah, just, you know, another poly bag. Really easy build. Just comes with one of those flat papers that's double-sided that has the instructions on how to build this. So as for the set itself, it is a solid set. As for a poly bag, you know, it's not bad. Um, I think the legs are a little goofy looking. It's really long here and it sits at a 90 degree angle right up here at top. But at the same time, if you guys go back and rewatch Empire Strikes Back, the ATSTs on Hoth are goofy looking. Now they actually, in the background here, it is kind of cool on the poly bag. Right there, they actually show an ATST and it, it, pretty closely resembles it like not gonna lie it does resemble it quite a bit i think maybe like the only difference is is really like that should have been like kind of like a, a dome piece a little bit here on the side would have made it look a little bit better but it does kind of have a longer legs on the atst from hoth but at the same time i feel like just on this set it's just a little too long it's like maybe one or two studs too long for the legs because it sits at a 90 degree angle, which like I said, it is kind of goofy looking, but it is what it is. Um, it does stand pretty well. Like, you know, it doesn't fall over all that easy. It does have uh, some pretty good support here. Um, the top of it does swivel just a little bit, just enough. So that's okay. The front of it, I'm not a huge fan of the front. It's just, I mean, look at that. It's just like, eh. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, it's a poly bag. You, you, it is what it is. You know, you kind of get what you get. But uh, there it is, the side. There's like a profile shot of it. Overall, not a bad set at all. Uh, $7, nice little poly bag. Kind of cool, especially, you know, with the release of the UCS ATAT. -AT, you know, we have kind of an influx of Hoth sets at the moment. We've got that Snow Trooper Battle Pack. We have the UCS ATAT. -AT, and then we even have a new ATST. So this is just kind of like a little mini version of the new one, which I have a video coming up on the channel of that really shortly. But uh, yeah, I mean, that is it. That is the Lego Polybag ATST set number 30495. Pricing is good on this. Overall, on this set, I'd probably give it, if I were to rate it, it'd be like a 6 out of 10. It's just, it is an okay set and it is based off good source material. It's just the front of it looks weird. The legs look kind of goofy. And uh, I mean, it's a poly bag. It's nothing that, you know, you know, you have to go out and get. It's not like, you know, like a clone trooper battle pack. Where you're like, bro, I have to have that. This is something you could totally skip and never worry about this ever again. You know, this isn't one of those sets that if you miss it, then in a couple years, you're going to have to go back and, and try and find it on eBay and you're paying three or four times the price. This is something that uh, it, it is. It's whatever. So kind of cool i mean a little poly bag set it is what it is something you know be good like stocking stuffer maybe like a little tiny uh, birthday present or something like that something cool to go alongside some of these other sets but uh, that's it guys that is the atst let me know what you guys think about this set in the comments down below thank you all so much for watching this lego star wars review and i'll see you guys back on the channel really soon